Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing great. I'm Kirti Sophia Panachan and in today's session we will be dealing with the topic subject, verb and object. A sentence is commonly defined as a complete unit of thought. The basic structure of a sentence consists of a subject, verb and object. Ideally, a sentence requires at least one subject and one verb. But in some cases, we could see that in a sentence, subject could be hidden. But even if the subject is hidden, the verb must be visible and present in the sentence because without a verb, a sentence would be meaningless. Take the example, do it. In this sentence, we could see that there is no subject. The subject you is hidden. But do it actually conveys a meaning since it has the verb do. Now let's understand what a subject is. The subject is the actor of the sentence. The person or thing doing the action is the subject. It most often is a noun, pronoun or a noun phrase. The doing word in a sentence is known as a verb. The action of the sentence is done by the verb. And verb could be called as the heart of a sentence so that itself reveals how important a verb is in a sentence. It's extremely important to have a verb in a sentence. Without a verb, a sentence does not convey a complete meaning. Object is the element of the sentence that is acted on, that the verb is directed towards. Object is a noun, pronoun or noun phrase on which a verb performs an action. Object is usually found towards the end of a sentence. It is governed by a verb or a preposition. Now we have learned about subject, verb and object. Let's see how well you could find subject, verb and object in a sentence. Take the example, Rini read a book. In this example, Rini acts as the subject. Why do you think that Rini is the subject? Yes, it's because she is the person who is performing the activity. She is the actor. So that is why Rini is the subject. What is the verb in this sentence? Red is the verb. That is because Rini is doing that activity. The doing word red becomes the verb. In the sentence Rini read a book. What is the object? A book becomes the object because the activity that Rini is doing is acted on a book. So a book is the object in this sentence. So I hope you understood what a subject, verb and object is and the importance of these three in a sentence. That's all for today. I hope the session was fruitful for you. Thank you so much.